I've got the camera up in my favorite uh, location, which might be the worst vantage point uh, possible. Um, but anyway, we're, we're just going to wing it. So, here's that uh, fancy uh, fishing scale. I think it was uh, six bucks from Amazon. Something, something around that price. And uh, it's a, uh, it's good up to uh, to ten kilos. So uh, that, that's pretty good. That's uh, twenty two pounds. That's, uh, that's a lot of pull for what it's doing. Uh, I realize that the um, those those little balls that you get in the uh, and the stock variator are only 11 grams a piece, so when they're spinning, they, they make a good amount of weight. So, anyway, it's nice and digital, so you, know, you don't have to kind of guess the numbers, read a scale, or whatever the heck. So, uh, all we do is we hook it onto this lovely guy and uh, give her a tug downward until it's just about touching that track. And uh, see, a little light comes on and, uh, and uh, tells us how much we pulled at that point. And uh, now we're going to scribble down on our piece of paper. So for a full pull at uh, 19 millimeters, I gave us uh, 6.4 kilos. So, it's pretty good. Now, put that back at zero. And uh, now comes the modification part. Okay, just a piece of a uh, piece of hose. The hose is uh, 65 millimeters long. And uh, it's a tight fit. Just pick that up in the middle of the spring. And it's longer than the spring. And it takes a little bit of effort to get in there because it's, it's tight fit. Now, what happens with this spring, uh, when it does its spring action, is because it's curling around itself, it, uh, it tends to contract like a power constrictor or something. So what happens is this, this rubber will work against that contraction. So with it set up just like that, with just a piece of rubber in there, nowhere else for it to go. Pulling down, just the bell touching. And there we go. Just lost the reading, and that's uh, six point nine kilos. So six point nine kilos. So that's half a kilo just having a piece of rubber in there. So because it's constricting. What we'll do is we will counter that constriction. And the thing that's nice about the hole is that if you counter its compression by squeezing it this way, it pops out and it'll put more pressure on this constricting action and it will raise the spring rate. This uh, piece of rod is uh, 5 sixteenths and it's uh, 85 millimeters long. Um, so basically what it is, is uh, once you've got your nuts on and it's uh, leveled up with the, uh, with the rod, so it's still loose but it's in there, um, it's putting no extra pressure on that hose. That way you can actually uh, tune it a bit. And so we're going to take our nut driver and we'll give it one full turn after it's touching. And we'll give this side also one full turn. And it might seem a little anal now to do half here and half here on the opposite side for your turns. But what happens is once that starts gripping in there, only one side's going to bulge, so you're you're not putting the same amount of tension on one half of the spring pair. Um, so you kind of want to keep that even going through there. So what I've done now is that about the same as two turns. So we'll see what happens. Two turns on the rubber, it's just puffed up just a little bit, 
Yeah, one second. If you yap too long, then the power goes automatically off. Terms is 7.15. So it's even gone up uh, a quarter, quarter of a kilo. Just doing the two turns. So. turns right there, it's gotten all puffy up against there, that's going to, uh, I know, I should have gone even and kind of tune it, but uh, I've done this before, I know how good it is. Yeah, that's going to Eight point seven kilos. So I need point seven. Kilos for ten turns. So that's, uh, that's a lot of extra weight for this little guy to be carrying. Um, so what you would want to do though and uh, when you're on the bike is uh, instead of using just uh, straight nuts, you're going to be wanting to use the, uh, the nylocks. The problem with using the nylocks is that you will most likely uh, have to put my least favorite tool in the world. It's a vice grip, but you probably have to vice grip one side when you do up the opposite side so that everything doesn't spin and it doesn't pull unevenly. But uh, that's how you can increase the speed. 